Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, today we're checking out another FMV video game from Wales Interactive. Uh, it's called The Bunker and it was actually released in September 2016. So it's um, six years old now. So I believe it's probably one of the first ones that actually came out from Wales Interactive for their FMV range of games. So uh, this actually was filmed as well in the location of a decommissioned government nuclear bunker. Uh, it features a plot crafted by writers and designers behind titles such as The Witcher, Soma and Broken Sword and in the incredible cast including Adam Brown of The Hobbit and Sarah Green who was in Penny Dreadful, an excellent series and Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, as the last remaining survivor in a nuclear bunker, John's daily routine is the one thing that keeps him sane but when an alarm goes off his mind starts to self-destruct. He has to venture into long forgotten areas recovering long repressed memories and unlocking the dark secrets of the bunker. All right, sounds intriguing. So I reckon without further ado, let's jump on in and check it out. So I hope you all... This was probably during the Cold War, wasn't it? 1986. Screams. <laughs> Extra babies being added to the list. <laughs> hmm, so we've got 59 people in the bunker, and it looks like a nuclear bomb has gone off. So, I guess that shows the stupidity of nuclear warfare. And this is, uh, yeah, around the time of the Cold War, I think. Or was. So, 30 years later. Take computers. <laughs> Treasure Island. <laughs> You've got to say it again, John. You'd probably be alone, Mum. Still be here. I'll always be here. <laughs> and you've got to say it again. <laughs> I'm almost gonna stick to the routine, I'll be safe. 
Is this the baby? He's like, Always be here. Yeah. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? We do time, Mum. Yes. So he hasn't grown up, has he? Just been stuck in the bunker, just his mother and a few other people. Not grown up at all. And what should we have? Treasure Island. The Bible. How about Treasure Island? He was consumed by the time behind another trunk. I think like he might have Mm. <laughs> I love you too. I'll be here. I keep you safe. I promise. No. 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 Please. Please. Many people are left in the bunker now, 30 years later. <laughs> Is it just him and his mother? Or him now? Hmm. <laughs> Last goodbye. Day 11, 11,109, medical, vitamins, dosimeter, radio, radiation check, food, and mother. I think mother's off the list now, I think. Hmm. I was supposed to start at position one. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Okay, radio check then. This is the same routine he has to do every day. Nope. Nothing out there yet. Radiation check. Oh, he's the last one. <laughs> Bunker radiation is normal. 
good. That's the radiation check, so food. I need to choose my food first. Boring old beans. Again. How old are these so that beans? Makes 27 years. Three months and 14 days of food left. Good, good thing, I suppose, is that you're the only one eating it. And while sitting on the shitter at the same time. <laughs> Very nice. And so what do we do with this one? Ah, he's left her there. Looks like she's just a skeleton. <laughs> Gonna put her in a, some sort of special area. This is just a... Not a great drawing. But I've never seen real flowers. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can see it's just... <laughs> just the skull. I need to read to Mum. I think the Bible might be more appropriate. Cast thy bread upon the running waters, for after a long time thou shalt find it again. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight. And thou knowest what evil shall be upon this earth. If the cloud be full, they will pour out rain upon the earth. If the tree fall the, to the south or the north, in that place soever it shall fall, there shall it be. Hmm. <laughs> Same thing again. He's got a kick ass life, hasn't he? Something's going to obviously happen to change his routine, I guess. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Hmm. Well, what have we got today? Hope all beans again. Years, three months and thirteen days left. Hmm. Oh, that's not a porter potty you're sitting on. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned. It's Treasure Island. Three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. You need to give Mother a burial. Maybe we try. Now we can't do one in a different order. Hmm. 
Radiation is over 80 mm. It's going up. Hmm. you want is it change your routine he said like, what is that protocol mean bet that's never happened before I need to find that manual This has never happened before. The procedural manual. Where is it? No. 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 Where's the manual? My old diary. Today it is my birthday and I have had extra peaches, my favourite, and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy it's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a blot from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. Hmm. Okay. To this one. My underwear drawer. <laughs> nice. How many pants have you got? The manual. So in the end of server failure, make announcement that the main power has been shut down for maintenance. Well, announcement to just yourself, I guess. Find fuse box located in server room level 2 and identify damaged fuse or fuses. Locate replacement fuses. Shut off main power, wait 10 seconds. Replace damaged fuses. Switch power, mains power back on. Perform a systems check. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. I need to find the fuse box on level two. You do. Down there? Or, or down there? I don't think that's the fuse box in level two. When I read to her. Level one, so we need to go up, don't we? Mm -hmm. 
will be safe. It's all that, it's locked. <laughs> oh dear, so... Room... Did you have a look in your drawers? I don't think you did, did you? What's that? There's a key. The key. Now I have to leave. What's in there while we're at it? I remember drawing these. So let's try this then. Go on, you can do it. Deep breaths. Oh, please, just stay well. Yeah. So you want to go to level two, yeah? Is level two going down or up? Probably down, I reckon. It's underground. It's going to be counting one, two, three, all the way down, isn't it? And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. Up. 14 months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make 14. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Here he is.
a Commodore. Oh my god. That thing's an antique. <laughs> Daniel, but I could use losing a few pounds anyway. <laughs> Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. <laughs> Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. <laughs> Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. A group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. Hmm. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3. I've got that. Right, so let's move through. Announcement that mains power is being shut down for maintenance. Okay. 
I should make the announcement. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Find out where they were working, what they've had contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Margaret. It's all right. Come here, love. <laughs> What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll be a bit of tick. Mm. I don't like it here. An empty locker. NBC suit's gone. Don't think any of them are obviously. Oh, we have CCTV. Some bunks there. I don't like it here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. <laughs> Do you all get that? <laughs> so, he's the only one there, but... <laughs> I don't like it here. So... I don't know. It's the wrong place, isn't it? Sorry. It's got to go down here, I think. Locate replacement views. Ah. Here's the replacement. So 
thought one's I blown. need to turn the power off. Yeah, but for yourself. So that one. You can boot this all up again. Replace damaged fuse. How do you know what one is damaged? Can you tell visually? Unless the fuse casing's broken, you won't be able to tell. Oh, that one's a bit black. Switch mains power back on. Hopefully. And now boots all up again. Upstairs, how is it? That doesn't sound good. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. What is down there? <laughs> Some of those being mutated by radiation, maybe. <laughs> please be okay, please be okay. Filtration fail. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I'm going to air. No. Oh, shit. I need an NBC suit before I can go to level four. I don't have an NBC suit. I need to find an NBC suit. You certainly do. Where are you going to find one? Hmm. What's that storeroom? Sick bay. Let's try this storeroom. Oh, that's his food room. That's just food, isn't it? I'm not hungry. <laughs> Sick bay then, hopefully. Hmm, 
doesn't look very uh, sanitary, does it? Something bad happened here. There's a copious amounts of claret everywhere. Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday AM, vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees, blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review. Possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Mm. Right, so I guess we go through here. No lights. I'm safe. It's locked. Locked? It's a push door. There's no lock on it. I don't see any lock on there. Blood. Nothing in there. I remember drawing these. Hmm. So how'd you get that door open then? Is it electronically locked or what? Gotta be something in here to open it, surely. Go back downstairs, do I? to go downstairs and to so I need to get an NBC suit
pretty sure there wasn't one in here. I don't like it here. The NBC suit is gone. Hmm. this one <laughs> so I don't think there's anything else I can do in there Form system check. Oh, what's that? Sam. A toy. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Let's see, there was a get in there. Doctor. Hmm. Effects on humans. Mortality in one week. <laughs> AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request sent to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended.
Hmm. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. Hmm. Still haven't found this NBC suit. It's got to be up in that storeroom, maybe, with the food. That sound from below. It, it wasn't there before. find an NBC suit. Three. The war room. Like the war room, yeah. Right at the front with the tanks. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... Can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from or how it will spread. We have no cause. We have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this. Do you understand me? What's that? For Christ's sake. That damn brat is a waste of air. And he's what the human race has got to look forward to. Soldier. Soldier. 
6,784 confirmed dead. West of Northolt, 4,896 confirmed dead. Heathrow Airport, London, comms dead. Hounslow, Twickenham, 10,945 dead. Yeah. Westminster, awaiting report. So Ealing, 6,784 dead. Hmm. Can we hear them? They're your NPC suits. Uh, in the event of a nuclear radiation, the following items are required for complete protection. Protection clothing, NBC suit meets NFPA 1984 ink, gloves, boots, hood, respiratory equipment, gas mask, SCBA air purifier and respirators, radiation detection, guide counter model, battery powered. Protection provided, highest available level of respiratory skin and eye protection from solid, liquid, nuclear and gaseous chemicals. Ensure suit integrity is not being compromised by wear and tear, rips or puncture before use. Ensure zips and fastenings are sealed before entering contaminated area. Fair enough. System. It's locked. So it's emergency only, I guess, that those open. All right. It's getting a few flashbacks, isn't it? Right, does it? <laughs>
see anything. Air filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95. 1611, checked by PJT. Main filtration unit running OK, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure. Readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ. Hmm, that's probably not a good thing. August 92, 1910, filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad levels way too high on output. Over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. Thought it was a duff filter. Tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We got contaminated dust clogging the lower pegs duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. But without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. The bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You only worry people. What else isn't he telling us? Hmm. Low place filter. Just let pressure at main valve before continuing. You can't open it, can you? Is that supposed to be correct? Oh, 
What's all this stuff then? Geiger counter. Looks fine. Like the other one then. Definitely isn't fine. <laughs> I think I could use these to fix the unit. I need to get rid of this damaged filter first. Get rid of the spare filters. So we're gonna do put it in here. Alright. Is this for the waste, I guess? Yeah. I think I could use these to fix the unit. Correct. So got, what, one more left after that, I think. in the existence so is it stuck under there just to stay alive just to live in a few rooms and I'd rather just walk outside and get some radiation sickness I think and see myself off I guess we uh, turn the valve back on again Slipping on that now. Oh. I know this is where all the bodies. Mm. 
and you punctured the suit as well, have you? Is that, is that a bit of bone or what? Pull it out. Bleeding, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these. Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. Margaret. Where's the Lindane we built? Look there, top left. You and Evelyn had it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> So that Lindane ointment, whatever it does. <laughs> yeah. 
mundane solution for topical use only may cause serious side effects. It's probably out of date. Lindane gamma hexachlorocolohexane is approved for topical treatment of licensed scabies in patients who either fail to respond to adequate doses or are intolerant of, of other approved therapies. Don't apply this medication to the face, eyes, nose, or the mouth. Flush with water if you get medication in any of these areas. Seek medical attention. Lindane topical is ingested or if irritation is persistent. Do not apply Lindane topical to open cuts or wounds. Doing so could cause too much in medication to be absorbed by the body, which could be very dangerous. Right, so I guess that's not ideal for what you want then. <laughs> You're obviously not, not going to take that, are you? Yeah, what's this? Give yourself a splint. Oh, do I have to do it again, do I? Bloody uh, fair play. <laughs> oh shit. Oh hell. You need to get. Oh, you got radiation in there. Wait, bunker to where? Where are you going to evacuate to if the surface above you is radioactive and nothing but a wasteland? That door sealed shut immediately. For Christ's sake, Margaret. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately!
is getting through. been able to take some proper readings from the RA-14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does it mean? Well, anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess. 20 to 30 years. Yes. Sam? Can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you, y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may but, have to ration a little, but it'll be all right. 20 to 30 years stuck under there. Mom? It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine. If he got up, if he managed to escape and he got up there and everything was back to normal, and everyone was just going about their business. Cars driving along the road, and everyone doing a bit of shopping. The escape hatch must be in here somewhere. So where's that? It leads down to the other blast doors. Yeah, so where is it? From here? One thousand four hundred sixty-seven confirmed dead. Heathrow Airport, London, seven thousand and twelve dead.
escape hatch must be in here somewhere. Well, I can't find it. Hold on. What's that? Check, check. Anywhere else to go? the escape hatch then. Is there a lad who got a grip hold off or something, or what? <laughs> oh, it's really a bit difficult with one bust arm. Easy tiger.
So we're going deeper. Level five. And you haven't got your NBC suit either. Just hope it doesn't get down there. Looks like you might have to put some more weight into it, I think. <laughs> no. Nope. I think you're going to have to look for somewhere else. Ah, what's this? Why are these guys topping everybody off then? Come on, quickly, we can get to this way. Come on. Help me, John. I don't think that's going to help you. Oh, it is. journey to the centre of the earth here. How deep does this thing go? Hmm, I think you need your torch. your doll behind your carved wooden figure oh. <laughs> what was that noise? 
Just on points then, I think. No! Oh, it's him. Looking for the key? Yep. Why would I give you a way out, Margaret? You and the little rat are not going to leave. You're not going anywhere. We're all going to die down here. John, no! no! <laughs> Soon this place will be full of radiation. Certainly will. Cooling system, sewage, stairs and exits. <laughs> still in there, is it? <laughs> John. Good 
Come on, tell me you remember the code, because I haven't got a clue. I need the code. There's blood on the keypad. Mm hmm. I don't know the code. Maybe I can work out the code. What's the code? Well, it's three digits, four code, three digits have been pressed, so it's got th two of those are going to be needed twice, aren't they? Three, seven, eight, three. There's blood on the keypad. Is there a six as well? Maybe I can work out the code. I don't know the code. I think there's some... Sp uh. There's blood on the keypad. What's the code? Oh. Claddy hell. There's a blood on number six. You can hardly see it. Ah, they need to make the blood on number six more prominent, don't they? I thought number th it was heavy on number three, so it looked like number three had been pressed twice. Find the key. It's <laughs> tripping over the bones. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> it's been stuck in there for like 30 years, just putrefying in a plastic bag. Nice. Ah! Uh. <laughs> 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 
past. Now they tell me. When you reach level five, find the ventilation hatch. Look for the hot pipe, but make sure it's the one with the warning label, John. Then open the top. Be careful. Then you run back to me as fast as you can. As fast as you can, John. Promise me. I promise. You've got this. You understand. You'll remember. Good boy. Thank you. 
time to get out of there. Come on! Oh my god. Come on! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. That one? That's not the right key. Oh god. What key is it? That one? Was that green on the wall? Oh, it works. You can do it. Good boy. 
after him for her and her son to survive. She killed everyone. Oh. Oh, stay or leave. Or oh, leave. Let's face it, you weren't having any life down there, were you? First time seeing sunlight. <gasps> oh, we didn't get to see what he saw. What was there? Was it ruins? What was it? Okay, so there we go. So that's the bunker. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good. Um, sometimes a little bit sort of confused as to where he needed to go, and but yeah, I liked it. It was pretty pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the game there, the bunker. Uh, if you like it, please remember put your comments and uh, like the video down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon on the next review. Thank you very much.